Hey, happy Saturday, everyone. Week number 15 update coming here from Spanish Fork with Leap Ahead Daycare. And uh, I think it was New Year's. Actually, what is today? January the 6th. January oh, the 6th. New Year's Eve last week. That's right. Week 14 was New Year's. This is week 15, which actually we've been making pretty good progress. I actually came in and said, hey, how about we do a video right now? Because I'm actually pretty dang tired. I'm like, I need a break from what I'm doing and I'm only halfway through my project. But uh, come follow us around and we'll show you all the updates that's been taking place. Here, we'll pause right now and actually just look out the window. Yeah, there's Anthony and Heath. We got a truckload of wood chips that came in yesterday on Friday. And uh, I'll see if I can throw the video in on here. It was actually pretty awesome. This huge giant truck and uh, it looked like a container truck, but on the bottom inside it had like a conveyor belt thing, which lifted them, moved them an inch and then went back. And, and it just little by little pushed everything out of the back of the truck. But uh, we've got wood chips almost full all the way out here. Well, actually, let's go out because we can look at this project that I'm working on. Woo! Howdy! Pretty awesome! Woo! I am. It doesn't lift up, does it? It's like on a conveyor belt. The floor moves. Oh, neat. Check that out. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen that, but look at that, woo! Check out all those play chips coming in. Awesome. That I'm working on. Yeah, Chrissy was mentioning as we walked out the door, we were getting dripped on. Wish we had rain gutters. But the weather's been pretty snowy. This is like one of the very first blue days, sky days out here, so uh, we're taking advantage of it. I'm just super glad it came on a Saturday. I was able to head over and get a load of sand. And here, let me show you what I've been working on. We had our pallet and a half of paver stones. And uh, this is today's big project. Basically laying paver stones all along this edge. The one part that's a little uh, eh, unfortunate is when we measured, I don't know if you can see right there, when we measured, I wanted to make sure that the distance from the building to this little uh, cement thing was the right distance to have five paver stones. And if you can count, for all of you out there homeschoolers, it goes one, two, three, four. The fifth one was just an inch short, so it didn't fit. So yeah, cut once, measure didn't work so here let's go around hey say hi to the crew Woo! awesome keep it up you guys are awesome here we are we're gonna head back inside and actually show you some pretty cool updates with I think the kitchen and the unicorn better known as the Noah bathroom because we did get some updates there okay so I've been cleaning this table this is going in the kitchen all of our appliances have just been covered in grease and um, obviously just not clean for a long time, like deep cleaned. So this table, get ready to go back in the kitchen and we'll come, we'll show you the bathroom first and then we'll show you the kitchen. Hey, come join me. This is really exciting. On Tuesday or Wednesday, I think it was Tuesday, we got our delivery and our partitions are in. We're so excited. Whoa. 
because now we just need to hang up the paper towel and the soap and I'm going to start decorating this bathroom. So super excited. This bathroom should be done, quote unquote, by next week. Yes. On the other two bathrooms, we did have a professional plumber guy come in because the drains just weren't actually draining the best of their ability. So he came in with his equipment and uh, dug through the drains and he said, well, your problem is, is you've got bottle caps, beer bottles and glass, and, and glass all stuck in your pipes. And he's like, what was this place? We're like, oh, it was a bar. We're like, how in the world did all of those things get jammed down into the bathroom? There, there was a floor drain. I mean, it was yeah. like a floor covering. Cover. So I don't know how it got down there, but it did. Maybe so it got, he, maybe yeah. it was down there before they put the floor cover on. I'm not sure. Who knows? But man, amazing. What treasures we keep finding as we uh, keep working on it. So our biggest up to date today is our kitchen. We're going to show it to you. But on Tuesday, we had... Um, the Help County inspector guy come and we passed and so we I, we have four inspectors that have to come before we open and he was our first one so we have passed that he's given us permission to use the kitchen which is fantastic I mean it's not like a hundred percent ready but all the plumbing is in in the appliances are working all of that fun stuff yep so three more inspections to go before we can officially declare ourselves open woohoo three more three too many I know okay so this sink is in and caulked they have the new handle on it we've got the plumbing in it and it's working um, this mop sink was done last week this dishwasher we don't know if it's gonna stay or go but they Jimmy wrote it so it's functional right yep. now so it works and the main kitchen. Yeah, the wizard! We love you! Again, this has all been caulked. It's attached. They've been attaching the thing, like this is for our knives, putting up the soap and the paper towel. Um, we didn't have All the, the plumbing is new on it, so it all works. And we're moving the fan switch out here instead of it was behind the oven, so I don't even know if they ever could actually use it. It works, but you couldn't, I mean, I'm a pretty small person, and this is the space. There's two have. fans. There's one fan that if you look up in here, that goes right out to the outside. And then there's a second fan that is in the hood. So we guessed they just, just used hood the hood fan with all of the grease traps that are back in here. So we think that's what they were doing and they never used the other one. But we said, hey, let's go ahead and switch it out so it's usable let's use it we want to use it and um we did get the the suppression system all up to code they had to come and replace some nozzles they checked the tank they did all of that so that's done um we personally clean this hood we may have to have a professional come clean it i'm not sure the fire marshal's coming on tuesday and he's gonna let us know but i think lane did a pretty awesome job i mean we should have done, see a lot of this, I'm like, we should have done it before and after, but honestly, we don't want to scare you away from the daycare because it was these grease traps. Oh man. They were terrible. I mean, it's like they would get full and they would just take them out and throw them underneath. And so they didn't ever clean them. And it's just, I don't understand. Or if they did clean them, they were cooking some super greasy food. Yes, it, it just didn't look good, but we did, um, we did move our fridges, so our fridges are here, and, yep. and the freezer. Passed. Yep. They all passed. We had to. I mean, we already told you that we spray painted everything, but. Anyway. And we've got the thermometer, everything in here. This is a cool freezy. I didn't realize until I opened it the other day when it's actually on and running. Is because it's a commercial freezer. When you shut it, it does like this super suction to go and see if you can hear it. True. So it like is supposed to keep things colder quicker in comparison to a normal fridge where it doesn't drop the temperature fast enough but and i these, thought that's cool these have been cleaned out there we don't know if it's functional or not but that is just stuff that's not coming off i don't know if, what that is it's it just didn't come off and i'm sure this is old but but we're going to get some gray silver spray paint and, and just spray, spray it up and the ovens are working but yeah. we can't change the temperature on them. So we're having a guy come next Monday to see if 
I'm sure it's something electrical, but the top it, oven goes to 460 only. Yes. The, the bottom, bottom oven, oven 145. 145. So not if it was at 350, <laughs> I'd probably be like, eh, 350, whatever. I mean, like 95% of what I cook is at 350, right? But um, 460 and 145 are just not going to work for me. Yeah, that's not going to work. Oh, as we walk out, I remembered, this is what I did last night, is I went around and put in the fire extinguishers. Uh, the rule in a commercial location is you have to have fire extinguishers at least 75, 70 feet. 75 feet, like, sir. 75 feet circumference so from every door like if you can see right over here we've got a fire extinguisher up here fire fire extinguisher that's in the kitchen and then right by the front door over here upstairs basically by all the exits we've got fire extinguishers so and Lane was working on the emergency lighting so we ordered batteries oh, yeah. last week and we've gotten two this one to work and the one on the opposite side but the one up front is like an OG from like, I don't know, I think like the 1970s or 19, I don't know. <laughs> it was super weird and it was broken. So we actually ended up taking it down and I just ordered a new one. It's supposed to be coming tomorrow, but the fire inspector, fire marshal is coming on Tuesday. So Tuesday. we just have to make sure that's in by Tuesday. But if he passes us off, then honestly, we just have the inspector, which means we've got to get the gazebo done and the building permits done. And yep. I really think the the only thing that we're lacking at this point is the gazebo. Um, there's a lot of work to be done, but for an inspection for what's on the permit, like our ADA bathroom is done, um, the fire marshal is part of the permit, and so he does too. So he has, there's a fire marshal section, and then there's part on the building permit, but I think he'll pass us off on the building permit. And then um, I think he'll pass us, us off on both. I think we have everything. So it's just getting that gazebo done done enough that they can come out and inspect. And as soon as that's done, they're starting floors on Monday. They're gonna start the um, wood floors on Monday. Mm -hmm. And honestly, that will change the look of this place leaps and bounds. Um, we're gonna start organizing these and moving these shelves in. That's, that's the goal for next week. The next goal for next week is to get the fire inspector, the gazebo, at least worked on. I don't know if done. And we hope that the weather will be nice enough that the rain gutters can be complete and done. That would be really fantastic. And then moving just shelves and stuff where they go, because as we do the floor, we want to put stuff away. Yep. So it's not just sitting on here. But that's the update for this week. Hey, once again, everyone, we just wanted to say thank you so much for being subscribers. Um, I know a few weeks ago I mentioned this. There is a YouTube guy that I like watching when uh, I get a little bored at work. And uh, it kind of says, oh, and he just does, you know, Disney parks and stuff. And occasionally in his videos, he'll always pause and he'll just say, hey, in case you didn't realize that you're awesome. And I just, every time he says it, I just kind of feel like, you know, it is true. Because I honestly believe he believes it. And I believe it also. For anyone out there who's watching these videos, if you're having a tough day or if you're having a hard time, let you know it gets better and you're awesome. And you're Slog incredible. And Just I mean, keep doing it. If this building has anything to let you know how yes. personal lives can change, it can be just like this building. For real. It's like this building was like A sad, bar, sad, right? sad lonely, and, or... I don't know. It was lonely. Depressed. But. Maybe depressed, I guess is the word. But I remember there was one day when I was power washing, I had this impression where I'm like, if these walls could talk, they're probably saying, thank you so much for just giving me a wash. Thank you, you know, thank you for caring to, you know, uplift my soul as a building, so. So, anyway, we it's a new year. I went to Zumba this morning. We had a big class because I, I, I love and hate January for that reason because, like, it's hard to get into the gym because so many people are coming, but congratulations to all those people coming. Um, but then sometimes I'm like, oh, there's so many people here. I can't wait for February. <laughs> but you can <laughs> keep going because it really does. Like keep all, of your, all of your resolutions, keep going with them. Life gets better. It's cyclical. It really is. Mm -hmm. And it's like this all the time. And when you're up here, just know that it's going to go down, and but it's going to come back up. Mm -hmm. So it we will. love you guys. Oh, I forgot. There was one important thing I wanted to mention right here is this last week, 
Mandy and Chris were here visiting for the New Year's and celebrating, and uh, she gave me a recommendation. Normally, we close these off by saying, thank you for watching and remember to share the love. Which and, means subscribe which and mean, share, guys. That's correct. what it means. And Mandy says, oh, you need to say, smash that like button or smash the subscribe button. So here's a shout out to Mandy. Smash that like button. Yeah, Mandy, are you even watching this? <laughs> I hope you are. That's the call out, but we love you guys. Thank you so very much. See you next week.